What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here, and today I'll be talking about the 1943 Denver Jefferson Silver War Nickel and what it's worth. In front of me, I have a Jefferson Nickel minted in 1943 from the Denver Mint. How you can tell that it's a Denver minted nickel is by flipping to the reverse of the coin. Because this is a silver war nickel, if you look at the top of the Monticello and there is a D mint mark, then you have the 1943 Denver nickel. There was only a mintage of 15.3 million of these coins minted at the Denver mint, and they're composed of 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese. The 1943 Denver Jefferson Nickel was designed by Felix Schlag, and on the obverse, it features the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, and on the reverse, his home, the Monticello. This is only the second coin in the history of the United States to feature a building on the design of the coin, and for the coins composed of silver from 1942 to 1945, the mint mark was placed over the Monticello Dome to differentiate the silver wartime nickels from its copper nickel predecessor. These coins hold value both numismatically and to collectors alike. If you were to melt down this nickel, its weight in copper, silver, and manganese add up to about $1.32 while its silver melt alone will bring in $1.29. The worth of this nickel to collectors is dependent on the condition of the coin. While in general circulated condition, the coin is worth about $1.50. But in uncirculated condition, these coins are selling for $6 and up. The highest this coin has ever sold for was in Mint State 64 and sold for $1,840 at auction in 2008. I hope this video helps you learn more about the 1943 Denver Jefferson Nickel. If you want to learn more about the Silver War Nickels, I'll have a tab at the end of the video, but please, please like this video and subscribe for more content on coins, hunts, currency, and more. As always, have a great day, thanks for watching, and happy hunting.